and welcome back to Callie's in the Kitchen. So, as you can see, in this beautiful, um, I think it's called Sunflower uh, Mole from Pouring Your Heart Out. I will place a link in the description. Um, I have this one in the Frangipani uh, mold. It takes me a little while to dust the flowers. So I did that off camera because it just takes a while and I want to be as precise as possible. And I don't know if you remember, but I use um, this little micro applicator tool to, to dust my flowers because it has less sort of spreading. I am going to be using um, Alcohol Pearl from Ranger. Um, I don't know where the color names are on these. So, uh, oh, this is Alchemy, this is Splendor, and this is Enchanted. So I'm going to shake them up off side here just to get them. I think it's been a, a few days or a little bit since I've used them. So I, like, I usually try to remember to shake my bottles of inks. This one is alcohol ink, remember, not resin ink, because resin ink are for, is for some other uh, techniques. I'll be using my Bloom Pigment Paste from Pouring Your Heart Out. I am using the resin Let's Resin 1 to 1 Regular. I've let it sit for a while and get to... 35 um, degrees. I'll probably do several layers on this since this is such a deep mold. So, oh boy, I may not have put enough here. So let me put aside some first for my bloom and then I'm going to pour the rest in there. I don't need very much for my petaling that I'm going to be doing. So I'm just going to put aside, let's just see how much I have first and let that settle. So, uh, so I think it's just going to be 10 grams because I don't need a lot. And then I'm going to use the rest of it. Well, let me think. I think I'll do, oh, what should I do? Let me think. I'm going to go like this and then like that. So I think I'll do 15. Let me just do 15 just to have, um, a little bit more to pipe with. Well, <clears throat> I think I'll compromise <laughs> and just do 12. And then I'm going to scrape the rest of this and pour. And I'll make a note to myself that if I'm going to do this again with this mold, I need quite a bit more on my first layer. So I think this will be nice. This effect will have a nice um, outcome if I do a double layer or more than one layer. So let's see how that goes. Let me um, scrape ev as much as I can out of this cup here. <clears throat> okay, so, all right. And I'll probably top coat, haven't decided yet. I'll just keep, you know, doing one step at a time and then decide later what I'm gonna do with the different layers, so. First thing I will do is torch before I put in my alcohol inks. Now I'm going to start at the uh, further out because I know it'll shrink in or come in. So let's do, I think I'll do this one first. <clears throat> And these are pearls, so they're going to be kind of shimmery. So, oh, cool, it's an orangey color. I like that. <clears throat> Why are you being stubborn? Come on. Come on, girlfriend. <sighs> All right, if you, that's how you want to play. I'll just squeeze you. Okay, pretty color. That's the splendor. Okay, then I'm going to use um, Enchanted in between. Oh, shoot. Well, didn't think it was a pinky, but oh well. I'm a colorful girl, so we'll just do color. 
And then in the center will be alchemy. Well, sort of center. I'm not putting a... Um, a glitter mix or anything in the center. So I'll let that settle. Put my inks away. <clears throat> then I'm going to get my cup of resin, take my bloom, and since it was 12, I'm just going to do one drop and a tail. There we go, I think. So I will mix it up and see how it looks, and I'll use my black stick so you can, um, stirring stick so you can see the opacity. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good color. Okay. Oops, that yellow kind of spread out. That's okay, because I'm going to be bringing a little bit of that pink in, I think. So, mix it really, really well. I do have my piping bag ready, <clears throat> so remember to lower the volume because the crunchy sound may be a little loud. So I'm mixing, mixing. <clears throat> Okie doke. Mix, 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 and pray that I have enough for my piping. So I'm gonna take every last drop that I can. I can't remember, I don't remember if I've done a 3D bloom. Oh, I meant to mention what I'm doing, duh. Um, I'm doing a 3D bloom. Okay, let me just squeeze as much. Or take as much out. Okay. I'm really hoping I have enough. Sure. And it's okay if I don't. You know why? Because I think I am going to do a lathe. This is so deep. So it really can take um, <clears throat> several layers. It's not a thin mold. It's a deep mold. So and I think it might be kind of pretty. Oh, good that that's coming in. Oh, oh, hopeful, hopeful, hopeful. I'm going to cut a little piece off the tip. <clears throat> Gosh, I use so much paper towel. Okay. <clears throat> All right, here I go. So it's going to be trying to, oops, okay, make it. Oh good, I have enough, yay. Now, the only thing is, my stream is not very thick. So I'm gonna carefully go back in and put in a little bit more. I cut my piping bag hole just a little too narrow. Now remember, this sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. So fingers crossed for me, everyone, that it does work, because sometimes this does cause blobbies. And even though sometimes blobbies do create a nice feel and look, sometimes I don't want them. So I'll just pretend I like them if they come out on this one. Okay, almost done with that one. And then I'm going to do a circle in the center. Okay. Oh, look, I had some more. Yay. And then I'm going to take my dotting tool and very carefully just sort of do my usual little, oops, spilt my cup here. 
Oh, shoot, everything's dropping. Sorry, glad you're not seeing it. Okay, I'm going to come in like this, just in the center part. And then we'll twirl, twirl, twirl. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to torch. And then I will come back when I do the second layer, because I, I, I do want to do a second layer. And I might, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the color, so we'll figure it out. I, I'll leave the inks out, because more than likely it will be the same colors. So that's looking pretty, yellow and the orange. Oh, please, please, please. Okay, I'll see you for the next step. All right, so it's been a few hours. I wish I had x-ray vision to see what it looks like on the other side. I'm so hoping... It's a nice turnout of a bloom. So here is my second layer. Uh, once again, I'm using the Let's Resin one-to-one. -one. I'm going to place a layer. Cool. This is a very deep mold. Let's see what I've got left here. Um, you know, these beakers are great, but I can hardly see what the notch says as far as how much resin. Oh, so irritating. Okay, so I'm going to put aside, I think the same amount I did before, even though that was overkill, but um, we'll just, just to be safe. So let me measure out some. I'm going to measure out maybe 10 again. Put the rest of this um, resin in. Wow, this is a really deep mold. This is like 90, no, 100 ounces. So the first one was three, three ounce, not 100 ounces, 100, 100 grams. Oh my gosh, yeah, 100 ounces. That's a lot. It's a very deep mold. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do for my top coat. I'm actually really seriously thinking of leaving it clear um, only because, I don't know, I've, I haven't done one, I don't think, in a long time where I just have a clear backing because maybe the, you know, the yellow sunflowers would look really pretty. Um, I don't know. I'll have to sleep on it. Okay, so here's my 10 grams. Oh, I forgot. I got to put my, um, let me do this again. I'm going to put in some more, um, oh, I forgot the torch. Oopsie, boopsie. Okay, I'm going to put my yellow in again, so sort of follow, follow that. And then I'm going to put it, put some out. I know it's going to come back in again, so that's just the way it goes. Okay, I'll let that settle for a second, and while I do, while it does that, I will. Um, <clears throat> Mix up my white. So here's my 10, and I'm going to do one drop plus the tail. A little bit of a tail. Let's see how that turns out. I'm going to get a different stir stick. Oh, I guess I can use this one. So let me stir this up. really well that'll give time for that that alcohol ink to also do its thing maybe I should have put in a little bit more we'll see but last time um, I did 
I think the same, just a little bit more, and it was there was so much left over. So, pouring it into my piping bag. And while I do that, it's still, you know, giving time for my alcohol inks to sort of settle in so that it doesn't distort or do any damage to my flowers. You know, I'm really keep thinking and I'm, I'm thinking I might just leave it clear. Oh my goodness. Just, just for the fun of it. And you know what? After I do it and if it, it's a, if it's a nice bloom and I want to do it again, I can, and then I'll do a color, right? There's always another time. Okay, getting my piping bag together. So I'm gonna do the same motion. <clears throat> Can't even do that right there. Okay, I'm going to cut about that much. Here I go. I'm going to start out here. And go out. Excuse the background noise. I've got laundry going, so. And it was either do this now or not. So. I do apologize for the background sound. Once again, I think my petals are too narrow. Oh, brother. I'm just being very risky here. So I'm going to be really, probably really quiet as I do this so that I can concentrate and I'm not put um, squeezing my bag too hard on this second top layer that I'm putting it's just you know just to give it a little more I don't know why I've been doing that the last couple times so I think maybe because it's a, I think it's a small circumference mold, and so I am not squeezing hard enough or something. Whoops. Okay. Whoa, boy. I think I forgot these here, so I'm going to go up here really carefully because I'm not gonna do anything with my dotting tool, I don't think. Okay, then I'm gonna do the little circle, kind of a spiral. Good, I had enough again. Can't remember if there's one there, oh dear. I'll just put one in there. And then I'll go over these again. Okay, get my top dotting tool. I don't know if it'll matter because this is just, you know, so I'll just go in like this for me from the outside like that quite a bit. And just hope and pray. And I think I do want that space out here um, just so that, I don't know. I mean, I just hope it turns out. I'm not going to. analyze it too much. Oh, I don't know. What should I do? I'm thinking maybe a oh, I'm thinking a light light yellow is what I'm thinking. So Oh boy, I don't know. I think maybe that 
Well, I'll see, you know what? I'll see how it blooms. And um, because I, t I sort of do want to feature for once the, the, the sunflowers. So, okay, I, I'll decide. Woo, it's blooming already. Once it blooms, um, I'll decide what to do. And if I do a clear, I won't videotape it. And then I'll see you for the unmolding. And or if I put a colored backing, I won't tape it and just show you, see you at the unmolding. So wish me luck. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, see you guys soon. Okay, so let us see. So as you can tell, I decided on a clear backing. I did put a teensy wincy bit of the alcohol ink of uh, one of the colors. So I don't know if you can see a tinge of that. But let's see how this turned out. I do like that crunching sound whenever we remove our piece from the mold. So I can clean up those. And I really like dusting. You know, this is very meditative. I sit in the garage with the garage door open and then uh, fresh air coming through, have my mask on and I use my little micro applicator and um, dust away. So here we go. Let's see how this turned out. Oh, not bad. Um, I do like the, the, the clear background. It makes this pop out. So, and my bloom's not too bad. So, I am going to take you in for a close-up. Oh, I do like that. It's very simple, you know, the, um, the petaling that way. Very nice. Okay, let me put it on a black background and see the difference. So, oh, that shows up even better. So, cool. I like that. I hope you do too. It's really a three depth effect. So take you in. And I so appreciate you joining me and watching. I do like that center the way, you know, that may, may solve my issues that I have with centers not closing is sort of doing that spiral and then uh, dotting it in. But oh man, I mean, look at that depth of, of that, um, of those blooms. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I hope you do too. Catch you next time.